Hi YouTube, um, Dr. AJ Vasquez, um, doctor of chiropractic here in League City, Texas. Our channel is Texas Spine Sports Rehab Clinic. Um, just so you guys know, today's topic is going to be over five questions you should be asking after you've been in a car wreck. Now, after doing this for 15 years, I've gotten all kinds of questions, but I feel like these top five are going to help you make the right decision to taking care of yourself after a car wreck. All right, hope this helps. Um, number one, should you call the police? Um, the real answer to that is always going to be yes, for so many different reasons. You know, you might have somebody that hits you, has no insurance, somebody hits you and maybe they're drunk, somebody hits you and doesn't really care they hit you. So my biggest thing is, I know you guys might be stuck on the freeway, you might be on your way to work, is make sure you call the police. The police do one thing, and that's make sure that, you know, everything is, the paperwork's done, okay? You need to establish who's at fault. If somebody rear-ended you, they must establish that in a police report. If somebody T-boned you, somebody ran a light and hit you, the police officer takes you care of that for you, okay? If you guys just switch insurances and, you know, call the insurance adjuster that day or the next day, it's his word or her word against yours, okay? And yeah, sometimes it's hard to lie depending on what the damage to the vehicle is, but the reality is everything's easier with a police report, okay? Um, number two, will the other person's insurance pick up your bills? And the answer, first and foremost, is yes, they will. However, if there must be fault established. Their insurance must say, hey, it's our fault, we accept liability. If they do not do that, okay, what that does is lets them fight your insurance company or you or anybody in this case, okay. And of course, the first time you call them, they'll act like everything's okay, and then they're going to start to stall you, okay. I tell patients that, um, you know, making sure that that police report and that their follow up treatment are important to establishing what's going on. Um, the good thing is their insurance company, especially in the state of Texas, okay, should be covering. Now there are limitations to policies, but for the most part, they should be covering the bills. Number three, will my ER bill be covered? Again, that goes back to, you know, was <clears throat> fault established, you know, somebody hit you. Uh, two, it's also gathering those bills and making sure that we turn them into, um, the proper insurance company okay if you're using an attorney that's what the attorney does is they kind of gather the bills and they put it in front of the insurance company to make sure that everything is taken care of and you don't get stuck with the bill number four who is going to pay my rental uh, immediately it might be your insurance company just because everything processes faster if you don't use your insurance um, a lot of times it's, yes, the responsible party, which is going to be the other people that hit you. However, they tend to stall for a day or two. Um, so please understand that. Two, I was going to say is that sometimes you need a long-term rental, right? There was a lot of damage to your car and so forth. The attorney helps you kind of establish that long-term rental. Um, that way those things get taken care of. Um, what I tell everybody is obviously you need a vehicle to get around, whether it's getting groceries, you know, groceries for the day or, or for the week. Um, or getting kids picked up or going to work. You know, once you feel a little better and you're ready to go back to work, uh, you need something, uh, some, some form of transportation. And then my last one, number five. What is the difference between using your own insurance and then using an attorney to help you with your medical care? One, I'm gonna tell you this. Whenever we, we see a patient that's been hit in a car wreck and we establish that they need care, uh, most of the time, whether they're doing physical therapy, chiropractic care, or any kind of physical medicine, they're going to be responsible for coming in multiple times a week. As you guys know, if you have a $30 or $40 or $50 copays, which we're seeing a lot of now, that's going to get pretty expensive by week one, week two. Okay. Um, another reason I would say is it's tough to use your insurance is because if you need a CT scan, an MRI, multiple MRIs, sometimes when you have somebody that has real bad neck pain, back pain, knee pain, you're looking at three MRIs already. Who has, you know, the money to go say, okay, well, let me pay for everything. You know what I'm saying?
Thank you for watching our channel. I hope you enjoyed this segment and continue to watch for more tips and education. Please hit the like button below and see you next time.